All right, happy Sunday, Insta Shredders. Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna give you a little glimpse of what I do on a typical off day. So it's Sunday morning, we're actually starting here on a nice, cold, brisk morning. I got my celery juice to start the day. Can't forget the celery juice. Fight all those chronic illnesses. Uh, it's like 5 a.m., we're gonna start off doing a little video shoot. We haven't really captured some cool video content with the Carbon 65, so we're gonna start shooting the car a little bit. My wife's at home making a freaking ham today with my mom. I've got some client calls, I've got some sales calls, I've got um, a Zoom interview with um, an individual that I'm going to be doing a TV show with. Devin, you're, what are you doing today? Going to a wrestling tournament. He's going to a wrestling going tournament Going to see today. Santa with the kids. Yes, so I don't know what you do on your Sunday fun day. Oh man, football's on today, there's football. Man, there's so many things to do with our Sundays and I'm going to take you through what I'm doing all day with mine. So, we'll give you a glimpse as we go. Whoa! Don't fucking put me on the spot like that. Shit, man. So man, well, I did a, a car shoot this morning with the Corvette. That was awesome. The guy came out and did a full video shoot with it, so that was a fun time. Bree's, Bree's making a ham upstairs. I got some sales calls. I got a Zoom call later with uh, the guys that are looking to do the TV show with me. So yeah, I got a multitude of things going on, you know. Sure do. Hey, Steve, it's Tyler. Hey. What's up, man? Uh, did my flyer concept come through? Yes, it did. Oh, it did. Okay. Because it showed like a, a time clock on my text, so I was like, is it not going through? So I just wanted to make sure. No, I got it. Okay, cool. Do you think a weekday would potentially work fine if the owner's cool with it? Well, we're glad you're back running the show, dude. I know a lot of people have been happy about that, so hope you know yeah, that. I appreciate that. Yeah, dude, of course. All right, man, sounds good. Just wanted to make sure you had the flyer and uh, no rush getting back. All right, got it. Thanks, man. Talk to you later. Yep, enjoy your Sunday. So we're looking to land a New Year's deal with one of the local gyms. My one and only job is a personal trainer that... Um, we want to help people prepare for the new year. So basically give them the excitement of preparing for a new year's goal, how to properly set a new year's goal and how to stick with their new year's goal more than a week or two, which seems to be the norm these days. So break that stereotypical rut of most people just getting excited about the new year's resolution, getting a gym membership, going for a week and then falling back into their old way of life. We want to eliminate that and insta shred and help people set the right goal in the right way and get freaking excited about it and follow through and ultimately feel and look the way they want. You told me I'm about 12% and then I really pushed hard after you guys left and- I'm I did tell him he's around 12%, around 12% he was surprised. The, the... So when we were in Thailand, he asked me what I thought his body fat percentage was at. And this friend asked me flat out, what do you think I'm at? And I said, about 12% conservatively. He was pretty taken back by it. <laughs> I don't want to say taken back, but I think he was surprised. He's like, really? 
you don't think I'm around 10 or a little lower? And I said, no, I don't. And so uh, I think that put the fuel to the fire for him and now he's chomping at the bit to get lower. His goal is ultimately 8%, but I think he thought he was closer than what I foresaw him at. So now he said he's probably closer to 11% and uh, I guess we'll listen to this, the rest of this message and see what he's got to say. 10% body fat, maintain it, and then hopefully do a reverse diet to, um, you know, add new gains while well, we'll staying at yes. uh, ideal body fat. Uh, I work out of work in every day, sometimes twice a day. Like, I'm doing so much effort, but, you know, I think nutrition is the limiting factor. So please give me uh, any help you have, and I appreciate you. Woo! It's a loaded question, baby, but I love it. We'll hit him up on the spot. Yo, AJ. Oh man, I love these questions, dude. So, I'll touch on training real quick because you didn't really touch on that. The nutrition is the bigger element, but training wise, you definitely want to be tracking your progression too. If some days you're working out two times a day, but other days you're not, and maybe this week you did more total volume and spent more time in the gym than you will next week, that can become a problem because if you're expending more calories and then expending less calories the next week and the week beyond, or you're flip-flopping between burning a lot of calories this week, not a lot next week, then burning a lot the next week, it's uncalculated and it's throwing off your total expenditure at the end of the week. So I would definitely get on a regimen to where you know how many, you don't have to get super dialed in, but know approximately how many sets, how much time you're spending in the gym each day. And if you're training five days a week, Try to stick to five days a week. Don't throw in extra cardio. Don't go a sixth day just because you're feeling it. When you have a goal like this, you gotta kinda give your body baby steps of progress every week, if that makes sense. So I'm not sure if you're on a specific regimen or if you're just going in the gym and winging it and just training the train, um, but that can definitely help dial things in too. Nutritionally, what's cool is you weigh the same as me, man. I weigh 180 pounds on the dot right now, so that's really, really cool. But my metabolism, as yours has been in the past, is built up very high. My metabolism, I'm maintaining around uh, 180 pounds, eating 2,900 calories. So that's just what I've built my body up to, to be able to maintain, which is a great amount of food. I feel fantastic at that, tons of energy. I'm obviously nourishing my body with plenty of vitamins, minerals, nutrients, and <laughs> I really can't gain unnecessary weight because that's a lot of food. I'd have to intentionally eat more than that to freaking blow up at all. So with where you're at, it sounds like, I don't want to say you're in crash diet phase, but it sounds like you're eating very little. And the problem with that is not only is your body used to low calories, but now your metabolism has probably became slower and slower over the weeks and months that you've dieted, which you can still push it. You can get sub 10%. I don't want to sound like a Debbie Downer here, but even when we were with you, you were eating super clean all week. You were staying away from carbs for the most part, fasting most of the day, which can be effectively in a cut. It can be used to your advantage, but if you're doing it too early and you're trying to do it longer than necessary, the metabolism week by week is just coming to a slower and slower crawl. So your necessary deficit right now may be a lot lower than you'd want it. And the risks with that is not only becoming hungry, um, but also stringing out, you know, because we don't get to choose whether our body's taking off muscle or fat. So if you have to eat, let's say, 15 or 1600 calories right now to start pushing into that sub 10%, then at that point, in my opinion, for a male that's training hard, weighing 180 pounds, you're gonna risk losing some muscle mass. And that's part of the game. So that's the beauty of getting the calories higher and reversing up and then cutting down is because your calories are still high enough to where you can maintain the muscle mass while getting rid of the fat. So your direct question was, how many calories should you approximately be eating if you start tracking? It's so hard to say because I have no clue where your body's at. I, I wanna say you probably, just from what I've heard and what you've said, I'm guessing around the mid 1000s, you know, 15, 1600 calories is probably where you have to be right now to push into eight, 9% body fat. And you can do that if you've got the willpower and you just wanna like freaking hustle from here and say, look, I'm gonna train hard, I'm gonna do cardio galore, drop the calories to 1500 for a period of time and just stick it out. You could get to that eight to 9%. And then from there, 
reverse up, like you said, take your time, maintain what you've accomplished, stay at the eight to nine percent, but build those calories up nice and high to where you're comfortable with the amount of food you're eating, your metabolism is recovered, and then um, you're sitting pretty, you're Gucci. <laughs> your metabolism, and then obviously, you know, not knowing how many calories you're consuming in those weekends can almost make up for the lack of eating during the weeks, all the clean eating, so. Love you, man. Thanks again for leaning on me for this, and uh, let me know if I can clarify anything else. And uh, you go get it, man. Get sub 10%, feel good, look good, build it back up and maintain it, baby. Talk soon. Am I looking at that? Uh, no, like we'll look together. You can address the camera every once in a while. Like, no, you're talking to me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Give me some. <laughs> she, she does got this. I don't. So I'm here with our client, Betty Jo. She's about halfway through the InstaShred program at the moment, and she is killing it. So just. I'll tell you what, the whole InstaShred program that I felt like it makes me happy. I know that you're asking me about um, maybe how I feel, the body wise, whatever. I'm, I'm happy. I feel much better in my clothes. I feel uh, more confident in that. But for to me, which is really important, is the mental health part. Because let me tell you that I feel like when I go to the gym, I'm actually happy. I'm happier. I, I figured I was happy going to the gym, but sometimes a little bit you you dread it a little bit. You know what I mean? But when I go, and I went this morning, I think, all right, I think I'm happy. That I feel good about myself, and I'm actually not like, oh, I gotta go work out today. I'm happy. Wow. Love you a lot. It's just what makes me happy. Wow. <laughs> you know, I feel like I had the gym, I had the stuff. You guys were like, let see puzzle piece. <laughs> <What's Aww. that? laughs> I gotta just find that little, that piece to put it all together and figure it out, yeah. you know? What you for figuring it out? Well, you guys are helping me figure it Aww. out. Because I couldn't do it without you guys. I, I do appreciate you guys, I really do. <laughs> so what do you like about the program itself? What caused you to repeat it literally four times before we even got to this point? I like the idea that I knew what I was going to do every day because I would, you know, follow the program and I don't know, lifting the weights and stuff made me feel, I don't know, the word is empowered, like I was strong yes. that I could do that. <laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs> that was painless, right? No, it wasn't. Come on. Yeah, thank amazing. you for sharing that. You are amazing. Oh. You all are amazing. Love it. Aww. I'm going to go home nice and take care of my dog. Woo! Yeah, girl. Afterwards, we're like, hey, if we want some extra calories, let's go to Taco Bell. But we got 10 minutes to get there. Okay. For, for the gains, of course. Taco Bell. Okay. Oh. <laughs> for the gains. <laughs> Mom's here? Mom's here for ham? Wow. Taka. Hello, mom. Welcome to the ham house. Do not. <laughs> Do not what? <laughs> mom. What? You you look like ass. Yes. You look fine. I, do. I just no, I, I just like I just zoomed in on you and you look fine. <laughs> well, basically, like up until a couple days ago, we were considering just buying direct because we didn't really think of any other option, but. There's really no advantage since we've already got, yeah, we've got all the benefits of a DVC member. You just cannot use your resale points at Riviera or the Disneyland Hotel. So if you want to stay oh. there, you bank and borrow your direct points so that you have enough because it's extremely expensive to stay at Riviera. It's a yeah, lot we, of points. We've noticed that. It's like the most expensive, isn't it? Sorry, I gotta get some video of your delicious hair. Pineapple and the 
money, whatever concoction of ways you put in there. Some potatoes are Some cute. Some orange and green. What else did you put in there? Some zest. I love these. They're crispy. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The best. Oh, there What's up, you gentlemen. Is. Hello, buddy. Hey, guys. Hey, buddy. How are you? Good. Happy Sunday. You sexy beast. Yeah, I was going to say the only thing that probably will start stop this show is you, you're going to need to get in shape a little better, pal. Oh, geez. You know, I'll start doing some more curls, okay? <laughs> you only have a 12 pack, I need a 14 pack. 14. Wow. You know, I think there's surgery for that. We can figure it out. Oh, I no, you would get no surgery. <laughs> I am going to um, kind of uh, make your day. Make my day? Oh, boy. What a cliffhanger. Make your life. Let's go. He hasn't made my day, Tyler. So he has <laughs> to sleep. Okay. No, but, um, you know, again, I've been doing what I can on my end to kind of get a bird's eye view of what I think needs to happen. Okay. You know, and again, I think that you've done all the hard work, pal. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I mean, you built a, an incredible company and, you know, reading through all your stuff, it's like you did it climbing up a, a really steep hill, bro. So oh. I appreciate that. Thanks, man. You know, that, not man. like you said it well in your bio, you know, a lot of people would probably fall down or go downhill from there. Um, but maybe that was your motivation, you know, to uh, do what you do. Hmm. Oh man, the TV show, the TV show. Really, really cool opportunity. Lots of pros, but definitely some things still in question. This is one of those things that you can't get too caught up in the excitement. The excitement's always great. It's always good to envision what could be, but there's a lot of logistics. You know, there's investors necessary, there's the time commitment, the planning, the whole procedure to even create and develop a TV show from start to showing to the public. Whether it's a streaming platform, a TV network, etc., there's a ton of moving pieces that I haven't even scratched the surface of. So I'm excited about a potential TV show on top of what we already did with Disney Fairy Tale Weddings, but this is a whole different animal. Disney did 100% of the effort and the work and the heavy lifting. This is much, much different, and I just gotta weigh out the options and see if it's worth prioritizing along with everything else we got going on. Man, what a day from the car shoot to making ham with the fam. Ooh, that rhymed. To client calls, to sales calls, to a Disney vacation club call. Didn't expect that one to get thrown in there. My mom came over to enjoy the delicious ham that my wife wanted to cook up and test for Christmas Day to make sure it was any good. It's been a lot today. I think I'm gonna take a shower next. I need a shower or maybe I'll take a bath. Or heck, maybe I'll, I'll use the hot tub. I don't know yet, but also, you can't forget, football's on, it's a commercial right now, but it's Sunday fun day, right? And I've spent my Sunday doing a lot of shit that I love, but man, I need some R&R, &R, some rest and relaxation. So that's what I'm gonna do a little bit this evening after I maybe hit, I think I'm gonna do the tub or the hot tub, I don't know, bath or hot tub. What do you think? Which would you do? Bath or hot tub? Both are nice. I'll decide when I shut down for the evening. But that's it for today's day in the life. This is a Sunday when I don't train. Thank the Lord I didn't train today because I don't know if I would have fit it in. Let's be real. I would have fit it in. I always make time to fit in my lifts. But today was a good day to not lift because that was a lot. But it was very productive, very fun. And I hope you make the most of your weekends because we all get to kick back. We all deserve to chillax and enjoy ourselves, especially on the weekends because we all work very hard in some aspect of our life where we deserve to treat ourselves. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you got any comments or criticism, <laughs> constructive criticism, please, down below in the, in the, in the comments. And, uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy what you're seeing on the InstaShred channel so far. See you next time.